Last night I hosted a webinar for those that follow me on YouTube, follow the Lawn Care Millionaire channel. If you missed it, I would recommend that you click the subscribe button because I will be hosting several additional webinars for the Lawn Care Millionaire community. So please click subscribe and you'll find out about the next one that's coming very soon. Last night I talked about recruiting, marketing, and this concept called bottlenecks. And I'm gonna give you one concept from what I talked about for over two hours last night. When it comes to building your company, you are going to encounter all of these bottlenecks that will blow up your year. And the best way I can think to give you an example would be, last year I went to, actually it was in 2018, no 17, I went to Italy for about three weeks over the summer. And one of the things that we did while we were there is we visited Ferrari and Pagani and Lamborghini. I'm a car person. And we toured the factory at Ferrari, went, went through the warehouses where the formula cars are purchased by private individuals and stored that they can then track there at the Ferrari's, at Ferrari's facility. And I'm a Ferrari person at the end of the day. I like all three of those brands, but Ferrari is sort of the brand I most like. However, when we toured Pagani, which is a small manufacturer of very expensive cars, requires you be on a three-year waiting list if you get approved, it's a very, it, was, it was the cool experience. It was cooler than, say, Ferrari or Lamborghini. And when you were inside their building, uh, which was impressive, on the floor, which they don't allow you to take pictures, the area in which they're building the car is relatively small. So if you picture a manufacturing line of vehicles. It wasn't that. It was a couple vehicles setting um, in different states of being built and individuals were working around that vehicle. So imagine the chassis is planted on the floor and there are individuals working around that car, assembling it. The car is completely built by hand. Contrast that to Ferrari or Lamborghini, and I'll use Ferrari in my example. There is a manufacturing line like you would imagine and the car sits on the chassis sits on that manufacturing line and it very slowly moves across that line while the body is being built the ceramic brakes are being added the wiring's being done the engine's being done things of that sort and it moves through this massive like massive line and the difference is while pagani was way more impressive in every way and it was by far my favorite they turn out 30 to 70 cars a year and ferrari turns out thousands. And the difference is partly uh, the demand, but it's also the process. It's the manufacturing line. And the point I want to make is I want you first to have that visual. And, and let's kind of focus on the Ferrari example. While the Pagani thing's cool, the most efficient, most profitable, most interesting way to build the business is with this line. Okay. And so imagine that you're thinking about, you're manufacturing these cars and you're saying, we've got a production problem. We need to, we're gonna, we're gonna sell even more cars this year. We need to push more cars through the process. And so it's determined that we're going to focus on getting more chassis move through the beginning of the line faster. In your business, you might equate it to, we're going to go do a lot more marketing. We're gonna bring in a lot more leads so we can sell more business. And so that's, you hold that in your mind with this concept that we're gonna put more chassis on the line, we're gonna push them through the line. So what happens is you're winning in that area, you're pushing more and more chassis through the line. In your world, you're bringing in lots and lots and lots more leads, but the problem is you thought about that one piece of the business. And so as soon as you get to the area where you've gotta put the engine in, and assemble that, there's a bottleneck. You, you probably get that idea. And so these chassis are just stacking up while the engine is going into one of the chassis. And all these chassis, you fix that part of the business, that's great, they're all stacking up. Now everybody on the other side of that line is basically, it, it, everything's the same for them, but everybody on the front side of the line they're now, at some point, they have, to, they have to halt it. They have to turn it off. They have to, it becomes massively inefficient. And then, if you think outside of that, you sold all those clients, in my example, new Ferraris, and you gave them some date in which they're gonna receive that car, and their chassis went on the line, and you, they got a message that said, hey, your, your car's in production, but then there's this massive slowdown, and they don't get it when expected, and therefore, the service lever level is not what they expected their experience diminishes for a multi hundred thousand dollar vehicle same thing happens inside our business 
many of us, we run around like, okay, we got it. We're going to, this year is going to be a better year. We're going to, we're going to transform the business. And we focus on a piece. We focus on marketing. And the example was the chassis is like marketing and the engine. You might think of that as, for example, the individuals to perform the work. So if you're recruiting efforts, don't go up at the same level as your marketing efforts. You're going to create a bottleneck. You're going to bring in all this work. Another thing to think about is maybe you bring in all these leads that you don't, you didn't staff up the office or you didn't find more availability for you to answer the phone, respond to emails, respond to requests through web forms. And therefore lots of those leads come in, they don't get answered or they get answered very slow. You might as well not even spent your money to get them. And on top of that, you turned away, you turned off the individuals that said, Hey, I'm interested in doing business with you. And you never responded. And they're thinking I'll never do business with that company. So you actually even hurt yourself. So think about your business as a manufacturing line. And when you say, I want to have a completely different experience for this year, and I'm going to make this part of the business go faster, marketing, what will that break downstream? Will there be people to answer the phone? Will there be people to do the estimates? Will there be people to respond to web forms? Will there be people to price the work? Will there be people to perform the work? Do you have enough trucks? Do you have enough equipment? Do you have enough cash to do all those things? What will break next? When you, when you optimize that piece, what is the next thing that'll break? And then and you kind of move through that process. And when you find that thing, you're like, okay, I fixed this. Now I fix this. Imagine what breaks next. So what will happen is if you don't get that right, you will look at the end of the year and you'll say, oh, man, sales way up, or maybe sales aren't way up, but leads are way up. But my year was roughly about the same as it was the year before. And there's all these little things that I describe as invisible inside the business that if you're not thinking about them and thinking about the process and potentially mapping it out, they're meaning they're invisible. When you say, I'm going to fix this piece of the business, they will get you at the wrong time of the year and they will derail your whole year. And that's a bottleneck. So as you go to fix one thing, think about what the next thing is that will break. If you work through that exercise, it will help you grow the company more quickly and you will get, or you'll have a higher chance of getting the result you want come the end of the year. So subscribe to this channel so that I can tell you when I will be doing the next webinar. They're free. They're full of information. I'd love for you to be part of that. So click subscribe. See you then. Thanks a lot.